And while I've got you, I need constant reminders of the difference between uh, typical, uh, you know, historic typical vaccines and mRNA type vaccines. What, just explain that to me again, because I think it might be, well, it be helpful to me, but I think it might be helpful to listeners yeah. as well. Because so, it's so, a really so, new technology, so. or it's an interesting technology, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, so the bottom line is that you know we went into you know this battle and um, what you know a year ago, kind of armed with the past ten or fifteen years of high tech immunology that had never really been tested in the heat of battle before. We'd learned all this stuff, but we actually had sort of ice age you know vaccines on the sh- on the shelf, and this was our first chance to test the new super duper ones. So that means things like mRNA vaccines that had been around experimentally and promoted as cancer vaccines and things for about the last 10 years, and ditto the AstraZeneca one, which was um, a kind of modified adenovirus. And we had lots of lab data saying they should be amazing, but we'd never really licensed them and rolled them out before. And sure enough, you know, we did and we have, and they are head and shoulders above anything we've ever seen before. They've done so much better than we ever dared they would. The levels of, of antibody are through the roof. And do you believe that the, that same technology can be used to vaccinate against other illnesses, including cancer? Totally, totally. You know, it seems almost perverse to talk about the sort of, you know, plus side of COVID, you know, like you talk about, you know, events after the war and yeah. how, how they, they change technologies and things, but they do. And, you know, the vaccine industry had been a rather, oh, sort of sluggish, risk of a slow business. And now it's turbocharged. Great to talk to you. Thank you. I thought I'd get those extra two questions in while I had you. <laughs> get more bang for my buck. Thank you, Professor Danny Altman, Professor of Immunology at Imperial College in London. Um, back to 